Welcome back here on this Monday morning. Perfect morning to get outside, maybe get active, or get in the round for a CrossFit workout. That's what Thor Dijakow is doing over in New West. <laughs> yes, my first time at CrossFit. Allison Ty, you're helping me through it. Thanks a lot, Coach. Yeah. All right, it's cold out here in New West, but uh, we're going to get warmed up. This is one of the things that, uh, you know, is part of the Spartan or the, uh, you know, the big uh, races and marathons you do is the, the tire, what, pull, push? Uh, flip, actually. Flip. Okay, You're going to yeah. get this from one side to the other. Okay, so uh, you did it in the tees. How, tell me the proper technique so I don't throw something out here. Okay, tees. so you want to get close to it and you want to get wide with your legs, okay. but you don't want your knees to be over top. So think about sitting back into your heels. Okay. Most important thing is that you keep your chest out and your core engaged, All almost right. like you're doing a plank. Tailbone slightly lifted. Yeah. Keep that chest up and then you want to drive through with your hips, so squeezing get a nice your bum, tread and there. then let it go. Okay. Don't get in the way. Just push it just right over going. with your whole body. Absolutely. All right. Chest up the whole time. Do one, one more. more there. Really squeeze your bum. Okay. And make sure you're getting those hips straight. So okay. there are some things you can do in the gym beforehand right. to get ready for something like this uh, if you're not quite comfortable doing the tire yet. Uh, one of those things, you'll see kettlebells in a lot of the gyms. So this is a good way to warm up if you don't want to get right into the, uh, Absolutely. the tire. Absolutely. So you just want to think about closing your hips and then opening your hips. Most important thing, you don't want to hunch up. So you want okay. to keep your back nice and flat with your chest proud yeah. and then just leaning your chest toward the ground. Think about your hips going back like you're closing a car door and then coming forward. Okay. So it's hips back to hips forward and that's the same motion that you're going to use right. to drive the tire through to its other side. And then other sort of like household items like buckets full of stuff and what, what do you have here like a makeshift sandbag? I know, sandbag? cheap, right? But very functional. So this is something you'll often see in the Spartan race is just carrying a sandbag. Yeah. And something you can take, this is a lighter style sandbag. Often there'll be a sand bell. You can just leave it onto your shoulder. What you want to make sure here is that you're keeping your core engaged and straight through both sides of okay. your body. But you want to relax your shoulder and not be gripping it too hard with your okay. hands. So you want to cool. find a kind of relaxed place for it. The next one here is the bucket carry. And this is often a... Um, an obstacle that you'll also see but right. then you want to find again the comfortable you never want this on your shoulder no because obviously it would be quite dangerous if you slipped or fell but just hooking it into a hand and then hooking your other hand on top and this is something that you can get comfortable with excellent just carrying around the block all right coach good tips all around we're here with Allison Ty CrossFit New West learning about how to get prepped for whatever kind of spring marathon race you're planning guys obstacle course season Allison Ty thanks for joining us thank you all right we're at CrossFit New West John is uh, getting ready to do the uh, what is this the climbing wall or the, the traverse wall it's traverse a popular uh, obstacle in the Spartan race. Okay, why don't you get started and explain the techniques of how to do this properly. This sure. is something you would see in the Spartan race um, as well, right? It is, yeah, yeah, this is a big Spartan one. So you want to really keep your hips nice and close, okay. a little bit of bend in the knees, okay. and then try to get as much uh, grab as you can with your arms. So it's a similar to technique to what you see sort of at, uh, you know, those rock climbing um, recreational places, right? Absolutely. Or even rock climbing so, in general. Yeah, staying close to the wall is really important. If you can have three points of contact, okay. you really want to uh, maximize uh, your, your tightness to the wall yeah. and then dragging kind of that leg to follow. And you want to sort of pivot the uh, feet as well, right? Absolutely, yeah. You might find sometimes that you will need to kind of let go and okay. just have two points, but, but the more points on you can have on the wall and the closer to, and just kind of breathing through oh, it. Okay, let's go over here now. Because you've done a ton of these uh, races, right? Uh, that, you know, like all over the world and things like that as well. I have, yeah. I've done a bunch of Spartans. Yeah. And uh, I did the uh, world's toughest mutter as well in Las Vegas. And which that was, is a that lived up to its hour, name? Hour, absolutely. Yeah. Very tough. <laughs> all right, this is something we also see in those kind of obstacle courses, right? Yeah, absolutely. So this is a, this is a, just kind of a short wall. And this, yeah. this brings us into our over under through series, which is again a popular one for any sort of obstacle course race. Spartan, Tough Mudder, all that. We'll, we'll get we'll John, John to do it. He makes it look easy. Uh, the technique here, obviously, you want to take a lunge at it and uh, just give her, right? Just give her, yeah. Okay. Just pull yourself over. There's a few ways you can walk up with your feet over it or uh, just kind of muscle up over it. So you're going to do the muscle up technique. Okay, we'll I do think. it. So just I'm just going to take a run at it. Take a run at it. Pull with the arms. That's it. Heel we hook. Go, baby! Woo! <laughs> Woo! And then do rolling the, through. Roll. And then just watch your head in the through. Nice. Oh. All right, the uh, earpiece popped out. I'll throw it back to you guys. There we go. Allison, Ty, you've been awesome so far. We're at uh, CrossFit New West learning about the obstacle course races. Woo! Tough Mudder, <laughs> Spartan, trying to be a contender. Oh, I thought we were off. That run break. No, I was going to see how far you were going to go there. <laughs>
<laughs> He's a machine, Thorndike Cal. Allison Ty, you're coaching me today, getting ready for all the obstacle races that we see uh, in this upcoming season. CrossFit, uh, Tough Mudder, Spartan Race. We're at CrossFit in New West right now. Uh, one of the implements is the rope uh, climb, right? Indeed, one of the hardest. Which yeah, traditionally I'm not good at. What's the what's the key here? So I think a lot of the key is just getting your technique in and okay. then uh, using your legs to climb more than anything. I like that because uh, so I have no arm strength. So you need enough upper body strength to hold yourself up. Okay. But if you just the the higher you jump, obviously the less rope you have to climb. Yes. And then you just want to wrap the rope around your leg and step on it. So, so should I climb here. first and then do the ro this? The well, you can do it from the ground, so just yeah. even hooking your leg, okay, just to so kind of get that With leg your dominant leg? Hooked. Yeah, and then getting the knee as high up as you possibly can, grabbing up nice and high, yep. and then jumping up and stepping on your foot. Okay, like that. And then, yeah, absolutely. You just kind of want to bring it up, knees up to your chest as much as you can, let that rope go all the way through. There. Okay. <laughs> and then it's just about getting the technique to actually be able to trap the rope yeah. between your feet. And then making sure that your knees come all the way up and the rope is all the way through. Yeah. You can see how much more height I get just from driving with my hips. That's tough. Obviously, though, practice makes perfect. What are some things you can do around the home to get more upper body strength to, in order to be able to do that? Um, I like the towel pull up. So even just uh, wrapping a towel around any sort of thing. Oh, OK. That, you know, like a pull up bar, even at the playground, how they have the monkey bars. Yeah, yeah. And then just getting enough grip strength to hold yourself up. OK, another big part of the, uh, the obstacle race is uh, the balance beam. Uh, this one we're doing a little bit thinner, but this is all about sort of uh, obviously your balance, right? Right, right. So you want to stay over top of your toes. Okay. And a lot of people like to turn their feet out. Yeah. But uh, you actually want to have your feet facing straight ahead so that you get more balance on the beam. And okay. then go ahead and use your arms as kind of an airplane. The airplane kind of thing. And keep moving, right? And keep moving. Yeah. And you're actually doing a camp here at CrossFit New West next Sunday, right? Or this we coming are. Sunday? One to six on Bam! March 22nd. Woo! Ninja kick for that. Back to you! Okay, we're here with the Rope Traverse. Allison Ty, you've been a wonderful coach all morning long. This is John, and he's showing us how to do it, and he makes it look easy. He absolutely does. So he's nice and stretched out here and just yeah. kind of doing an upside-down crawl, so using his opposite arm and legs to kind of pull himself across with his chest up and his shoulders back and down, core tight, all that fun stuff. Why so don't you demonstrate it, absolutely. and then I'll take a go. To get set up, you just want to hook your heel, and you okay. don't want to hook your feet across like this, That's which is a common technique. Yeah, okay. And then you just want to kind of spread out okay. and kind of use your momentum to pull yourself across. All if right. you can bend your elbows, you'll stay a little bit more um, controlled. All right, so just uh, start like this. Put the uh, heels the up. the heel, yeah. And you want to get the heel up, not so much the tread, right? Just the back of the shoe, exactly, okay. yeah. And then just like you're crawling, you want to bend your knee into your chest and uh, try to stretch out. That's it, nice. Opposite arm and leg, just like an upside down crawl. You okay. can also do this one on top, which is a little bit easier uh, balancing across, but uh, okay. doesn't quite work the arms as well as this one. So what we've been doing all morning is getting ready for these obstacle events like Spartan, Tough Mudder, but there are a lot of different ones as well available in this area, right? Absolutely. There's Rugged Maniac, Mud, Sweat and Tears, uh, Mudarella. There's quite Mudarella. a few ones that are, I love that the are names. local and fun and coming out. Yeah. What was the Beast are, one that you did? Uh, the Ultra Beast. The Spartan Ultra, Ultra Beast. Beast and Sun Peaks. And okay, cool. Yeah, the first monkey one bars, Canada. obviously a big part so of them. So monkey bars, there's an easy way to do it if you just want to grab both. And you can see that I'm cycling with my legs. Or if you want to go and hit the doubles, you can do that as well. Okay, so keep and the legs going. it's a little faster, but a little harder. And just keep the legs cycling like you're riding a bicycle, and it'll really help. Think about kind of climbing up as you go across. Okay. Nice, that's it. And keeping that chest up and those shoulders down. Beautiful. <laughs> Done. <laughs> All right, you have a camp coming up uh, this Sunday right here at CrossFit New West, right? Absolutely, we do. Yep, March 22nd. And people can go to the website for more details and that kind of stuff. And sign up and come join us, have some fun, play on the obstacles, and uh, get ready for uh, the mud races this year. Excellent. Why don't we take it away one more uh, rope traverse, and uh, thank you so much for letting All us right. hang out today. Let's do it. All right, there you go, guys. CrossFit New West. Check out the details on the website because there's a lot of great tips here, and uh, we're helping you stay fit and healthy this lovely Monday morning.